Hey everyone, thanks for dropping by. This video is part 2 of a two-part series on color grading with CapCut PC. In the last episode, I covered how to use the first two panels, focusing on the basics in HSL. Now, when it comes to color grading, you might be wondering, what if I want to adjust the highlights and shadows separately? In this scenario, you can't solely rely on the temperature slider, as it would impact both. So, in this video, I'll demonstrate how to effectively use the color wheel panel for such adjustments. Let's dive in. We have two options, log and primary. Let's start with the primary. Here, I've got a black and white tonal range, with the darkest point on the left side of your screen and the whitest point on the right. Let's make some adjustments on the shadows wheel. Click here and drag this point to the orange. What you'll observe is that the orange color will have the most impact in the shadow part of the image, and nothing will happen in the white areas. Now, what about log? Let's switch over to log mode. I'll make a similar adjustment and go with blue in the shadows. What you can observe is that in log mode, the color won't impact linearly like before. Instead, it only affects the darkest areas while leaving the mid and high tones untouched. With that in mind, I'll go back and adjust the highlights in this shot. Knowing I only want to make changes to the highlights, I'll opt for log mode and add color to the highlight wheel. As you can see, the adjustment only affects the lightest part of the footage, namely the sky, and nothing in the mid-tone or shadow. I'll go with yellow for the highlights here. I'll do something similar for the shadows and add a touch of blue tint. Here's the before, and here's the after. Now, let's apply a more practical example and match the color of this shot with the color in the movie Past Lives. I'll incorporate the lessons from the previous video and make changes to the basic and HSL. However, to make it look more like past lives, I need to adjust the highlights and shadows separately. So, I'll utilize the color wheel. In log mode, I'll add some yellow to the highlights and a touch of blue to the shadows. Here's the challenge. As you can see, it only affects the handrail on the left, not what I want. So, instead of the shadows, I'll make adjustments to the mid-tones. Finally, I can dial down the intensity bar here to make the adjustment more subtle. Here's the before, and here's the after. This is the reference, and this is my grade. Now, you might be wondering, what's up with the curves panel? Well, for example, in this shot, I'd like to make it brighter. If I use the brightness bar, what you'll notice is that it will cause the sky to clip. Clipping means losing details. Because brightness works in linear mode, impacting the entire picture, meaning if the mid-tone gets higher, so does the highlight. In this case, let's try using curves. In the curves panel, the uppermost curve is called the luma curve. You can use this to adjust the exposure of the clip separately. For example, just like before, if I want to make the mid-tones brighter but not the highlights, I can grab a middle point here and lift it up. If I'm concerned about clipping the highlights, I can create another point here and drag the highlight down a bit, creating an opposite S-shape. Here's the before, and here's the after. I hope you learned something new. See you guys in the next videos.